Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here at Empty Paradise. So today's video, as you saw in the thumbnail, there is a Dodge Viper here in the garage. So it's getting a full wrap. Right now it's black with silver stripes. It looks absolutely amazing, but uh, these stripes are actually painted on. We're gonna wrap over all of that. It's gonna be one solid color with a thin stripe going down the driver's side, but it's gonna look incredible. So right now I'll give you guys a little walk around of the car, what it looks like. And then you'll be able to kind of see a little bit of progress over time. And then we're going to do like the big reveal at the end of this video. So definitely stay tuned. If you guys want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because there's going to be a lot more stuff, especially like doing projects like this. This is absolutely insane. This car was crazy hot when the customer dropped it off. I had to open up the hood and like the garage like spiked up to like 97 degrees and it was like in the 80s outside. So yeah, this car gets super, super hot. But I've had the AC on for quite a while, like blowing at 60 degrees. And hopefully I can give the garage down in temperature. It's like almost 100 outside right now. But like I said, these stripes are actually painted on. So we're going to go right over top of this with all the vinyl. There's going to be a thin stripe, kind of like on the driver's side. And then it'll also help with the seam. This hood is actually the largest hood out of pretty much any car in the world. And it's virtually impossible to do in one sheet of vinyl. Like technically it might be possible, but whenever you like measure from like one side all the way across to the other, it's like seven feet. And then from like this top point all the way down, it's also like seven feet that way. So this thing, like vinyl comes in a five foot roll and you can't stretch it that much. Like in theory, you might be able to stretch it that much, but it's not gonna turn out right. It's gonna be very thin. It's gonna have so much tension. So the best way to do it is to have some kind of seam somewhere. In this case, the seam is gonna be under that little stripe that's going down the driver's side, but it's gonna be kind of like an offset race stripe. It's gonna look super awesome. So I'm really excited to see what this thing's gonna look like when it's done. But as of right now, here it is. So let me go ahead and do like a little montage and then we need to get started with the wrap. So whenever it comes to doing a wrap, obviously there's a lot of prep work. Uh, usually I have to clean the entire car first because a lot of times people drop them off and they're just super filthy. This customer is like one of the best customers I've had so far. I mean, like look how like immaculate this looks. It's a little dusty just from sitting here for a little bit, but still like it is so nice and clean already, which is absolutely amazing. I really appreciate that. Some of the other prep work that does go into this is actually like removing some things. It's like these little vents right here. I'm going to remove these as well as the headlights so I can be able to wrap the vinyl all the way in and around. There's a few other things such as these like little kind of vent things that are going to have to uh, come off. Whenever I open up the hood, there's actually like a couple little screws so that should be able to pop out nice and easy. And I'll be able to wrap the vinyl in nice and far back so this thing does not have any issues. Because one of the things that a lot of people have issues with is places will just take a knife and they'll just cut along the edges and there's not much material going in and around on the back side. So I did do a little bit of disassembly so I actually took off the panel that went right here as well as like that little vent and that actually allows me to be able to work on the door quite a bit more so I can kind of get around that side but then I can also like wrap that panel itself while it's not on the car so I can get the vinyl tucked around back behind and be able to get like a nice better finish on it and then also it's not gonna be all tricky up in the crevices. So it's a lot easier to do it like this, especially when it's not on the car. And like I said, it makes the door a lot easier, but you can also see that I took the mirror off. So this is pretty much mandatory whenever doing a wrap with the mirror on the door itself, because I can take the vinyl and just go straight across over here and then just pretty much take the screws and poke those holes in the vinyl and then be able to put the mirror back on and have like a nice seamless look. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the door cleaned and prepped and then the first piece of vinyl on this car will actually be the driver door. So let's go ahead and get started.
All right, so I did just finish this door and it's looking so good already. I mean, it's, it's only one panel of the entire car, but this color looks absolutely amazing. It's like that nice kind of chalk gray color, but like, I think the door looks super good. It's gonna look really good once everything else starts going on. But like, this looks amazing, especially with like this little angle that comes under. I think this looks absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and post heat this and go ahead and move on to the next panel. I actually did already get this little piece right here wrapped. So once I get this like whole side skirt and like a little front fender thing done, I'm gonna be able to put that part kind of back in there and then pretty much have like this whole side right here done. I'm going to wrap the mirror, get that stuck back on, and then I'm going to try to tackle the hood. This is like the hardest part because it is extremely huge. So I've just been kind of putting it off a little bit, but I'm thinking once I get done with this little side piece, I've kind of gotten in the groove and I'm kind of feeling good about this whole wrap. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the hood because it's like the main focal point of the entire car, especially these big vents in here, like the little scoop right here. So I definitely wanna make sure that this is done perfect and it's done right. So I kinda of wanted to like do a little warm up with working on the side of the car before I tackled the, uh, the crazy hood. So like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, get the mirror done, and then I'll catch back up with you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so the panels are done right here and I put it, kind of everything back together, well other than that mirror, because I'm gonna do that here in a little bit. It is a very stressful thing to wrap a mirror. So I'm gonna save that for um, probably like maybe like tomorrow morning when my energy levels are nice and fresh and high. But went ahead and got like that whole thing wrapped, put back together, got the vent back in and everything. So that looks super awesome. I got the entire side skirt, that little front fender piece. And this is looking so good so far. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do next is tackle the hood. So like I mentioned before, this one's going to have kind of like a small stripe going down, kind of like the, in line with the driver's seat. So that's where I'm gonna hide the seam because like I said before, it's impossible to do this in one piece. But I'm gonna go ahead and kind of mark out where that line's gonna go. And then I can go ahead and wrap this part of the hood and then I'll be able to wrap all that in a separate piece. So it's not gonna be an even down the middle. It's gonna be kind of like an offset line, but it's gonna look super awesome. And this is a giant piece. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I did go ahead and pull out the other headlight and the other vents, so I got both of those out. And right now I'm actually going to um, work on the passenger side of the hood. I mean, as you see, I already did this side right here, which looks absolutely incredible. You can see this is where the seam is gonna be, and it's perfectly in line with the driver's seat dead center, and that's where we want it to be. Um, but it looks so good, and it's actually based off of the original stripes, so the distance is exactly the same, so that pretty much where the seam is gonna be in the new stripe is gonna be perfectly in line with the like stripes that were originally intended for the car. But when you're looking here at like the side of the car, this looks so good with this color. It's kind of like that light chalk color, um, but it kind of gives you like a little bit of an idea of what this car is gonna look like in the end. If you kind of like imagine that stripe, it's gonna be a satin stripe. Um, but as of right now, there's just that little black gap that you can kind of see. So picture the entire car, this color, and that's what this is gonna look like. It's gonna look super awesome. But let's go ahead and get started on that side of the hood. Cause as you see, there's quite a bit of work to go. And this is all the stuff that's done so far because this project is, it's kind of tricky. So like, I'm not rushing this. There's a lot of little things that are a little tricky, intricate 
So I'm kind of focusing a little bit more on detail when it comes to this wrap, which I pretty much do for every single wrap, but especially cars that are already a little tricky to start off with, I then have to focus a little bit more time and attention into the little details. So let's go ahead and get started on the other side of the hood. All right, so now the hood is completely done, which I think it looks absolutely insane. Well, not quite completely done. I still have to do that stripe that's gonna hide the seam here, which at a quick glance, you didn't even really notice, but you can kind of see it right there. So I actually put some vinyl in the back of my car and I sampled with hiding seams and what kind of method works the best. I found that butting up the vinyl like this actually works very well. It's kind of like flush with each other. There's no overlapping. And then once I slap a piece of satin on here, it actually hides it very well and you barely even see that line. Also I got a lot of coverage here. A lot of people would have like left a gap and then had just like a little overlap on each side. But to me that looks kind of bad and it shows like a lot of the overlap. But I'm doing this method and I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. Like I said, I did some sample vinyl on the back of my car just to try it out. And doing this way actually showed less of a Kind of like it's less obvious that there is any kind of like overlap. So then I went ahead and measured, got the little uh, masking tape, little spots here, just kind of mark out where it was going to go. Took the knife list, lined it all up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this uh, masking tape. I'm going to go ahead and slap the vinyl on here. And then we're going to go ahead and peel up the knife list, making the stripe. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Alright guys, so that is the stripe right there, which looks absolutely amazing. And I do have to clean up this like leading edge. I'm just gonna um, lift this up a little bit, a little bit knifeless, uh, cut that across there, tuck it under. Same thing with the back side. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some of that off, round it around back behind. But as you can see right there, that's the seam. And whenever you look at this, it's like you don't even really see it, and it looks so good. Like I just absolutely love that. Also, you, if you did notice that that is satin. So it looks so cool on top of this gloss, kind of like that chalk gray. So having that satin stripe going all the way down is gonna look absolutely insane. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one up and then go ahead and knock out the top.
All right guys, so after I wrapped up with the hood and getting like the stripe and everything on, I kind of got a little carried away, lost track of time, but went ahead and uh, knocked out the top here on the deck lid, which looks absolutely amazing. And then I got the kind of base layer uh, back here done. I just went ahead and got the knifeless tape all set up and about to add on the little black stripe that's gonna be right here. And then I'm gonna start working my way, probably the roof next, and then just kind of work my way from the top to kind of the back. The front is usually like a kind of a tricky thing, especially with these intakes. I'm just going to go ahead and save those for last or at least a little bit later on. But I think after I get done with the rear deck lid, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the roof just so I can kind of get that flow going into the back. I would say by far like the hood was the longest part of the process. It took me absolutely forever to get this done and get it done so clean. Like the fact that there's a seam underneath that vinyl, but you can't even see it and you don't see any overlapping edges, like something like attention to detail is what I absolutely love to do. And I love to be able to like hide stuff like that. And I think it looks absolutely amazing, but also to the owner for picking this kind of like that chalk gray, such a great idea, especially with the satin black stripe. I'm looking forward to seeing it when it's completely done, but let's go ahead and get back to work and get this taken care of. All right, so whenever we come around the back here, you can see I have the top of the deck lid wrapped. I do have this trim piece right here wrapped with also the same stripe. And then as you can see right here, I have like the satin black. This was all gloss black all the way around the tail light, all the way back around. And this satin looks amazing. I just absolutely love it. Same exact satin as the stripes, so it looks really good. But I did show you guys pretty much on the other side, wrapping all this. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that. And we're gonna skip forward a little bit until I have a lot more done on this car. All right guys, so I have been knocking this out like crazy. Uh, this whole project so far has been almost a week that I've been working on this. It's kind of like every single day out here in the garage getting this thing taken care of. The hood itself took me like an entire day and everything else is actually, um, some things are a little bit more complicated than I expected, but everything's looking really good. I'm almost done. All I have left to do is the front bumper and most of the rear bumper and the uh, passenger side mirror. Other than that, everything else is done. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's go ahead and see the wrap. All right guys, so here it is. What do you think? This color to me looks absolutely amazing, especially having like that black stripe on there. Looks so good. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this. Did you like the black with the silver stripes before or do you like this uh, light chalk gray with like the black st uh, satin stripe? I honestly prefer this. I think it looks so much better. So sleek and elegant and so clean. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And I think this turned out so good. But like I said, during this wrap process, there's a lot of things I really did not expect that were kind of like little, not hiccups, but like little delays, I guess you could say. Like this entire hood having to do that in two separate pieces and hiding that seam perfectly under the stripe. Like I mentioned before, I sampled on my own car to figure out which way of hiding a seam would work best. Came up with a new idea and it looks insane. You, you can't even tell that there's a seam under here. It looks so good. But let me know what you guys think of this wrap. I, like I said, I think it looks absolutely insane. It was a great choice. Like this color is actually like amazing. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys wanna get your car wrapped and you're in the San Antonio area, definitely hit me up. Uh, there's gonna be links in the description down below to like my social media, like Apex Vinyl Solutions, or even my own personal one, the MT Paradise. So definitely hit me up, get a wrap quote, because I do this here in my house. I have this giant three car garage. I can cut out all the cost of like shop fees, extra utility bills, all that kind of stuff. So what I charge is like the vinyl, minor supplies, and labor. So this is a lot cheaper than going to big shops. Recently, I've actually quoted some people at like a third or a quarter of the price that like a big shop would charge, but I'm not in it to make as much profit as possible. I want people to have cool looking cars. 
I want them to be happy and that's what matters. But if you guys like this video, definitely go down, hit the like button down below, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see a lot more stuff like this. Also, check out my Instagram for my rap company, Apex Final Solutions, as well as my personal ones. They're gonna be down in the description down below, so definitely go check those out. But like, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.